hello guys welcome back to this story very interesting story or uh, entitled the accidental mother in the first episode we saw daniela who was drugged by her stepsister and um, brother too they planned for her to be this virgin on her 19th birthday in order to ruin her reputation and many people dot on her because she's very pretty so um we saw how daniela tried to escape them but finally because he was already drunk got also got herself into a mess we're going to continue the story here i'll allow you to listen and from time to time i will have to chip in what i have to say because actually i am not the owner of this um, story i'm only reviewing this story because there are a lot of lessons that i've learned from this story i always like to share my lessons so that people will learn okay so let's continue with episode one scent of some delicate girl slowly opened her eyes as her soft lashes fluttered open they revealed dark black orbs that held a hint of confusion and disorientation after having just woken up her soft thin waist seemed to be trapped under the muscular arm full of strength and imperfect proportion a man lay behind her his chest joining to her body in such a way that there was hardly any space between them. His breathing was light and shallow as his chest heaved up and down rhythmically. Daniela felt an overwhelming fear in her heart as she gradually recalled the memories from the night before. Her small hand moved up to cover her lips. It took some time for her to be able to come back to her senses from the shock and disbelief incredulous over it had happened. She glanced at the man behind her before pulling his muscular arm away from her waist. Her body was threatening to fall apart, but she forced herself to get up and pull herself off the bed. After she picked up her clothes that were thrown haphazardly all over the floor, she fled the room as quickly as she could. A period of time had passed, and the man slowly opened his eyes. There was no longer any trace of the girl beside him. As he lifted his hand, a pearl earring fell softly upon his palm. The Green family mansion was located in the last row of a residential area, which housed only the rich and affluent. Daniela got out of the taxi painfully and dragged her limp, exhausted legs towards the living room. She had barely reached the entrance when she heard cheerful laughter coming from inside. Carl, are you sure you can give me this pink diamond necklace as a gift? I'm not your fiancé, I'm basically your sister-in-law. If Taniella found out, she would skin me alive. Morning. Episode 2, The Result of a Betrayal Daniela. So let's have it here first. Daniela, you saw what happened, she was drugged and after she unconsciously slept with a man she never knew what happened to her she is going to discover the reason in fact she's going to have another shock of her life in this episode now why am i telling the story here why am i bringing the story to you to your attention the the, the consequences of polygamy just listen to monica and join me in this episode because you're going to learn a lot and you will see it's not about africa polygamy is not good and that's why in the western world they dropped it long ago okay so we're going to see this is not all even about um having two wives it's just about divorcing so when you talk about polygamy it's not only when you you're married you're marrying two wives fine but then the problem the problem of having to bring another woman into the home even though the other one is still is no more there the children in that home there's always this rivalry there's always this jealousy the second woman that 
came in she's going to you know be jealous of the first one because a lot of the love the the father already have for them and all that just listen and follow monica in this story and you're going to agree with me that this the, this breaking up of homes and marriages are causing children a lot a lot in this life let's continue in this episode two and you're going to discover more about what happened to daniela as maternal grandfather and carl forrest's grandfather were comrades in arms having fought together in the war during difficult times as a result the two families had always been close the marriage between the two had been set in place since the two were children over the years, as Daniela grew older, Carl had become extremely satisfied with the arrangement and having her as his fiance. After trying to date her for two long years, Daniela finally agreed to give it a try last month. The moment she walked through the door, Daniela could see straight through to the living room. Monica held tightly onto Carl's arm as she pouted. Carl, do you think I look pretty wearing this? Daniela walked straight into the living room without changing her shoes. The moment she entered, Daniela attracted all of Carl's attention, and his gaze lingered on her, seeming to forget about Monica completely. Daniela was reasonably tall, at five and a half feet. She had been discovered and photographed by a talent scout when she was only 14 years old, and had become quite well known in the modeling industry, having been featured in various advertisements and pictorials. Her skin was fair, she was beautiful, and her figure was amazing. For Carl, he had nothing to complain about regarding Daniela's appearance. She was stunning. The only thing that he was not happy about was that she was too soft-spoken and boring. He felt that she lacked the gentleness and consideration that Monica had. In the one month that they had been dating, they had not even kissed yet. She would always use various reasons to evade or reject Carl's advances, such as being still too young or that she wanted to wait until their wedding night. She would always be very unwilling whenever he touched her. Carl swallowed his saliva as his brown eyes glanced at Daniela's fair, shapely legs. Monica's heart boiled angrily in jealousy as Carl was completely ignoring her now that Daniela was back. You're back, Daniela. Oh, right. I didn't see you after I went to the bathroom last night. Where did you go? Why didn't you come back for the entire night? Oh my, what's on your neck? Carl strode towards Daniela when he heard Monica's words. His body trembled in anger, and his fists clenched at the sight of the obvious hickeys on her fair neck. His face darkened. Daniela, what did you do last night? Daniela met Carl's enraged gaze. She had the slight urge to cry as her red lips opened to explain, I was drugged by Monica. She wanted to ruin my innocence. Carl, don't listen to her nonsense. How could I have drugged her? I had been... From the thunderous expression on his face, it was clear that Carl did not believe Daniela's words. He had drank too much during the birthday celebration the previous night, and Monica had been taking very good care of him. They had even done some very intimate things, and although they did not go the whole way, they had done everything they could have and should not have with the alcohol raging in their bodies. Originally, Carl had been feeling a little guilty facing Daniela, but an inexplicable anger rose up from within him after he saw the number of love marks on Daniela's neck. He had treated and cared for her like she was his most precious treasure, unwillingly putting aside his needs due to her hesitations. But now, she had been touched so intimately by another man before he had? So you see how Monica um, actually planned everything simply because you see monica came into the family with the stepmother with daniela's stepmother all right since daniela was a child he she was betrothed to this carl and carl is also from a very rich family and as this video progresses you're going to discover that that woman monica's mother came from a a, a, a low background 
And there are these people that are always very ambitious of climbing the top, okay? The top um, ladder of the society. So, you can see how Daniela has been framed, how Monica was quick to look at the love marks on her neck. She was trying to call the attention of Carl. <laughs> oh, sisters, we need, to, we need to understand that evil is not just from a particular side of the world. Evil is in man. Anywhere you can find man, you can find evil. I'll allow you to continue. Don't forget to leave your comments in the comment section. What do you think? Carl's gaze turned cold and sharp. His rage was like... And sorry to cut you here again. One thing again I noticed, I want to talk about Carl. You see men. Daniela was holding herself. She was, she was following the right path, right? Yes, we have been engaged, but I want to wait for my wedding night before we do the kissing and everything. I know not so many people agree to this. But ladies, this is how you know a man that is responsible. This is how you know a man that can stick, that will be faithful to you. Okay? So he couldn't wait. He loves Daniela because Daniela has a, 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 an attractive body and all that. Fine. But just one night, just one night, um, you stayed with uh, Monica. They already did some intimate things together. I'm trying to highlight here is the fact that he was already guilty. But now he is looking for an opportunity to blame Daniela for the relationship, for betrayer. He had already betrayed Daniela with Monica, the stepsister. Now he couldn't even bear to notice he, he, that someone else betrayed him with someone else. He couldn't bear it. <laughs> Man. Okay. An arrow with poison added on its tip. He did not care to listen to Daniela's explanation at all. I had always heard that you were promiscuous, that you had some treats up your sleeve. I never believed them before, but look at you now. You were only acting chaste and innocent in front of me. The reason why you didn't let me touch you, no matter how many times I initiated it, is because you'd long been dirtied by sleeping with other men, isn't it? A loud, furious slap landed on Carl's handsome face. Daniela was so angry that she was trembling from head to toe. She glared at Carl and lifted her chin arrogantly in retaliation. How was this the warm and tender-hearted person who had cherished her when he was interested in her? She was the one who had suffered and taken the blow with what had happened last night. She felt wronged, and the fury raged through her veins at the injustice. She had been plotted against by Monica and lost her innocence because of it. Not only did he not believe her, he was hurting her even more by believing the lies created by Monica and slandering her. Was this the like that he had always proclaimed he had for her? Carl, I'm going to tell you one last time. It was Monica who plotted against me last night. Do you believe me or do you believe her? Where's the evidence then? Carl had his hand on the angry red print on his cheek from Daniela's burning slap. His face stung and his expression was so dark and terrifying as he glared at her maliciously. You don't have any evidence to prove that Monica framed you because this is your true nature, promiscuous and shameful. Carl was so angry, he was almost spitting in rage. He liked her so much that he couldn't withstand not being able to touch her because she was unwilling. He tolerated her excuses. He did not even kiss her. He could not believe she could betray him in such a way, and not only did she not cherish herself, she slept with another man after pretending to be pure and innocent. Monica took one look at his face and knew that Carl would not believe her no matter what she said. Monica was too good at hiding her true self. She would cry and tear up at the smallest things, making herself out to be the most innocent and harmless person in the world. Daniela took a deep breath in before her red lips curved into a cynical expression of disdain. 
If that's the case, Carl, let's end our engagement. Carl was stunned. She was able to end their engagement so easily. Did he have any space in her heart at all? Of course. What do you guys think? If at this moment you can't even trust her, you're quick to believe the explanation. You're quick to believe lies of other people. You didn't even give her a chance to, you know, explain. You didn't have a hint of trust from her own side of the story. The people that ganged up against her, that cooked all kinds of lies against her, where is their own evidence? Just because he saw the mark on her neck. That was how he just confirmed everything he heard about her. And now he's asking for evidence to believe that they ganged up against her. So what do you think about her calling off the engagement? What do you think? I think she, she, she's doing the right thing. Because how are you going to continue with someone who doesn't trust you? Someone who is looking at your sister at the same time looking at you. I don't think. Okay, so um, I think I am fully in support of this, this breaking up. Yes, I am fully in support of it. So drop your own opinion in the comment section. Daniela turned away from him without a second glance. She walked towards Monica, raised her hand, and gave her a long, hard slap across the face. Daniela, you... Slap. Another slap landed on her cheek. Daniela! Slap, slap. Two consecutive slaps. Carl grabbed Daniela's thin wrist, holding onto her roughly. His expression was menacing. You dare to hit Monica again, Daniela? Monica's fair and delicate face was puffy and swollen as she held onto her reddened cheeks. Her misty eyes welled up with tears. She looked extremely pitiful. However, she did not dare to hit Daniela in front of Carl. My face hurts so much. I really didn't plot against Daniela last night. She's accusing me. Carl looked at Monica's red and swollen face. There was even blood at the side of her mouth. He then glanced at Daniela's slightly childlike but exquisite face. A glint of disgust flashed through his eyes at the thought of her sleeping with another man. He pushed Daniela with force without holding back any of his strength. Tramp! He then pulled Monica, who was about to fall, into his embrace and held her tightly against him. Daniela was still wearing her high heels when he shoved her. Her body lost balance, and she fell backwards from the force of his push. Her back collided hard against the coffee table. The sharp pain made her eyes tear up, but she blinked them back quickly, not wanting to give them the satisfaction of seeing her hurt. Monica looked down at Daniela and smiled wickedly. Her expression showed she was pleased, and her eyes taunting as she leaned further into Carl's embrace. Daniela had a fever. Her throat was scorching dry, and she felt her body burning up as she tried her hardest to fall asleep. Giving up, she got up from her bed and stumbled tiredly out of the bedroom, her whole body aching with pain. She needed to get some water to soothe her parched and aching throat. As she passed by the master bedroom on the second floor, she saw a sliver of light from inside and heard some hushed murmurings. On impulse, she walked towards the room. Aren't you afraid that Daniela will find out that you had a share in helping Monica drug her? If you don't say anything, I don't say anything, and Monica doesn't say anything. How would that girl find out? That idiotic girl, Daniela, would never have dreamed that Monica is actually your biological daughter. She also would never have guessed that we were lovers before you had even married her mother, and that you only married her because of her grandfather's assets. How pitiful. Sam Green smirked coldly. She would definitely not know since she's as dumb as her crazy mother. She's also been spoiled rotten by me. Besides, so what if she found out? I've already transferred all of the old man's remaining assets so that they're all under my name now. Although we still don't know who she slept with last night, her innocence has been completely ruined. 
The Forrest family definitely wouldn't want such a daughter-in-law anymore. Carl will only have Monica in his eyes from now on and can love her wholeheartedly. <laughs> so, you guys just heard it all. You just heard it all. Even the father. This Daniela is going to go through a lot in this video because of a strange woman. A strange woman destroyed her mother's relationship. Even the father herself. Anyway, I hope you're enjoying the story and you're learning. You're learning. It's sister. Sister. In fact, this, this girl, Daniela, I don't know. But you're going to, I'm, I'm happy that that she's a very strong girl and then she she she's she has the strength to pull herself together and continue her life even after everything but it should be very interesting for you to discover how daniela has uh, the result of this this whole um thing and how she's able to manage her life and we'll see how monica and her mother and even sam green with her in this whole affair i leave you until i see you again in my next episode please don't forget to like drop your opinion in the comment section subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so thank you so much i'll see you guys again bye, -bye.